Slide 1. Welcome to Health Management Information Systems Consumer Health Informatics. This is Lecture A. The component Health Management Information Systems is a theory component that provides an introduction to healthcare applications and the systems that use them. Health information technology standards, health related data structures, and enterprise architecture in healthcare organizations. Lecture A provides definitions of health communication, e health, consumer health informatics, and interactive health communication, identifies how the Internet has impacted consumer health informatics, explains how current and emerging technologies may affect consumer health informatics and introduces the role of genomics in consumer health informatics. Slide 2. The objectives for this unit, consumer health informatics, are to explain how current and emerging technologies, including the Internet, have impacted and may continue to affect consumer health informatics. Describe the role of genomics in consumer health informatics. Describe the emergence of personal health records and their implications for patients, healthcare providers, and health systems. And discuss how consumerism influences the ongoing development and use of health information systems. Slide 3. A broad cultural shift toward using technology and the Internet as a normal part of everyday life is emerging. Government policy is placing great emphasis on both health information technology and personal health management for consumers. The integration of communication media means electronic access to health information with web-enabled telephones, handheld devices, and other emerging technologies. Interactive health communication enables consumers to gather information, make healthcare decisions, communicate with healthcare providers, manage chronic disease, and engage in other health-related activities. HHS 2000, as cited in Ratzen 1994, defines health communication as, quote, the art and technique of informing, influencing, and motivating individual, institutional, and public audiences about important health issues. The scope of health communication includes disease prevention, health promotion, healthcare policy, and the business of healthcare as well as enhancement of the quality of life and health of individuals within the community." End quote, pages 11 through 20. When taking informatics into consideration, consumer health informatics is interactive health communication where the focus is on consumers. Furthermore, HHS 2000, as cited in Robinson et al. 1998, states interactive health communication as, quote, the interaction of an individual with an electronic device or communication technology to access or transmit health information or to receive guidance on a health-related issue, end quote, pages 11 through 20. Since the publication of the report, interactive health communication continues to evolve and impact consumer health informatics. For example, Healthy People 2020 was launched in December 2010 and includes as one of its topic areas health communication and health information technology as part of the Health Promotion Initiative. Slide 4. AHIMA 2012 defines consumer informatics as, quote, the field of information science concerned with the management of data and information used to support consumers by consumers, the general public, through the application of computers and computer technologies, end quote, and consumer health informatics as, quote, the branch of health informatics that addresses the needs of the consumer, end quote, pages 79 through 80. When the applications of informatics technologies focus on patients or healthy individuals as the primary users, this is considered to be consumer health informatics. Slide 5. In a previous slide, interactive health communications was defined. Let's review this definition again. HHS 2000 
as cited in Robinson et al., 1998, states interactive health communication as, quote, the interaction of an individual with an electronic device or communication technology to access or transmit health information or to receive guidance on a health-related issue, end quote, pages 11 through 20. An example of interactive health communications is eHealth. According to the Office of Disease Prevention and Health Promotion, ODPHP, 2012, quote, eHealth is the use of digital information and communication technologies to improve people's health and health care. The increasing use of technologies, especially the Internet and mobile devices, to manage health highlights the potential of e-health tools to improve population health. End quote, paragraph 1. Technology used in this process includes the Internet, web services, and wireless technology. AHIMA 2012 defines these terms as follows. Quote, Internet, an international network of computer servers that provides individual users with communications channels and access to software and information repositories worldwide. End quote, page 190. Quote, Web services, an open, standardized way of integrating disparate web browser-based and other applications. End quote, page 359. Quote, wireless technology, a type of technology that uses wireless networks and wireless devices to access and transmit data in real time. End quote, page 360. Tools will be discussed on the next slide. Slide 6. The tools include online communities and support groups, online health information, online health self-management tools, online communication with healthcare providers, and online access to personal health records, ODPHP, paragraph 2. These tools could be considered social media. Kaplan and Hainline, 2010, define social media as, quote, a group of Internet-based applications that build on the ideological and technological foundations of Web 2.0, which allows the creation and exchange of user-generated content, end quote, page 59. Today, many healthcare organizations use the social media as a channel for information delivery. The Internet has become a way to gain access to health information, contact healthcare professionals, and receive healthcare services at a distance. Slide 7. While the concept of an interaction of an individual with an electronic device or communication technology may have a variety of descriptors, the impact on consumer health informatics remains the same. First, it has created a new role for the consumer, where the consumer is a key player in managing his or her own health, in partnership with healthcare providers. Second, it has set up expectations that health information is available when it is needed. With the growth and development of the Internet, combined with the increase in the use of the Internet to search for health-related information, consumers are drawn to use convenient and anonymous technologies for health purposes. Gibbons et al., 2009. Slide 8. According to HHS 2006, quote, significantly, there are indicators that Internet access is growing in every segment of the population and that many of these segments are ready to think about new uses of the Internet and other digital technologies for health, end quote, page XV. Just how has the Internet affected consumer health informatics? Some examples are... There is increased use of the Internet to find out information about healthcare providers and treatment options, opportunities to select information based on their personal interests and preferences. The sponsoring organization provides consumers with tools to develop and maintain their own PHRs. Email exchange is possible between consumers and healthcare providers. Increased marketing sophistication results in accessibility of healthcare products for purchase. 
Slide 9. HHS 2000 made several points regarding how advances in consumer health informatics are changing the delivery of health information and services, in particular the following. Quote, the convergence of media and emergence of the Internet create a nearly ubiquitous networked communication infrastructure. This infrastructure facilitates access to an increasing array of health information and health-related support services and extends the reach of health communication efforts. Delivery channels, such as the Internet, expand the choices available for health professionals to reach patients and consumers and for patients and consumers to interact with health professionals and with each other, for example, in online support groups. End quote. Pages 1 through 14. Emerging technologies that are influencing consumer health informatics include those that come under the umbrella term social media. Slide 10. As explained previously, Kaplan and Heinlein, 2010, define social media as, quote, a group of Internet-based applications that build on the ideological and technological foundations of Web 2.0, which allows the creation and exchange of user-generated content, end quote, page 59. While not originally created with healthcare in mind, today these media are seen as valuable healthcare tools. They are used in the healthcare environment for a variety of purposes, including, for example, the use of a social network such as Patients Like Me, where individuals connect with others who have a specific disorder. Some media are used by healthcare providers to provide information to their patients. For example, Mayo Clinic uses both blogs and podcasts to discuss diseases, conditions, and treatments. Healthcare organizations may use social media to assist patients in making informed choices and to build or maintain reputation in the marketplace. Photo videos, such as those found on YouTube, are popular. Mayo Clinic has a Mayo Clinic channel where multiple YouTube videos are available for viewing. The legitimacy of social media has increased as well. Respected healthcare organizations such as Mayo Clinic and governmental agencies such as the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention have established social media centers. For example, CDC 2011, quote, uses social media to provide users with access to credible, science-based health information when, where, and how you want it, end quote, paragraph 1. Slide 11. HHS 2006 identified a number of types of stakeholders in the e-health market and examples of reasons they are interested in consumer e-health. Three, consumers, clinicians, and healthcare organizations are examined in this lecture. The first stakeholder is the consumer. The benefits sought from consumer e-health include, quote, private, 24-7 access to resources, expanded choice and autonomy, new forms of social support, possibility of better health, more efficient record management, lower cost health care services, and avoidance of duplication of services. End quote, HHS 2006, page 69. Slide 12. The second stakeholder group is comprised of the clinicians. The benefits sought from consumer e-health include, quote, greater efficiency, better communication, and more adherent and satisfied patients, end quote, HHS 2006, page 69. Slide 13. The third stakeholder is the healthcare organization. The benefits sought from consumer e-health include, quote, more patient self-care, and health management, lower administrative costs, and improve quality and patient outcomes. End quote, HHS 2006, page 69. HHS identified many other stakeholders that see the potential value of e-health, such as consumer advocacy and voluntary health organizations, community-based organizations, public health programs, among others. Slide 14. 
having described the various impacts of the Internet and its derived technologies on consumer health informatics, what challenges do these technologies and media present? They include privacy and security concerns, liability risk, lack of law or legislation governing the boundaries, lack of payment for engagement, lack of frequent updates, and resistance by healthcare providers. While the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, or HIPAA, contains privacy and security requirements, it does not contain guidelines regarding the transmission of personal health information over the Internet. However, Subtitle D of the Health Information Technology for Economic and Clinical Health Act, High Tech Act, enacted as part of the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009, addressed the privacy and security concerns associated with the electronic transmission of health information. Even so, privacy and security issues are still not a part of HIPAA and remain a challenge for healthcare providers wishing to use the emerging technologies. Other challenges include the risk of liability, especially with relation to what constitutes medical advice which goes hand in hand with the lack of law or legislation governing designated boundaries for these emerging electronic device or communication technology tools. Healthcare providers are also reluctant to use interactive health communication in their practices due to the lack of payment for their time and effort. For example, according to HRSA 2003, quote, the absence of consistent comprehensive reimbursement policies is often cited as one of the most serious obstacles to total integration of telemedicine into healthcare practice." End quote, page 2. Not all website data may be updated in a timely manner to reflect advances in clinical care. Websites need to be reviewed and revised regularly or consumers can receive out-of-date information. Finally, healthcare providers may be reluctant to get on board with some of these technologies due to wariness regarding their usefulness. There is also concern over the potential replacement of some person-to-person -person interactions and a danger of losing essential benefits of the doctor-patient relationship, which include appreciation of a patient's needs and personal preferences. To conclude this unit, the role of genomics in consumer health informatics will be explored. Slide 15. According to CDC 2010, quote, by studying the relationship between genes, environment, and behaviors, researchers and practitioners can learn why some people get sick while others do not. Family health history information can also help to identify people who may have a higher risk for certain diseases. Better understanding of genetic and family history information can help researchers and practitioners identify, develop, and evaluate screening and other interventions that can improve health and prevent disease. Individuals can contribute to their health by keeping records of their family health information and sharing this information with their doctor and with other family members." End quote, paragraph 2. The family history being a piece of the personal health record plays a role in consumer health informatics. HHS 2012, as cited in Valdez et al. 2010, stresses, quote, Family health history has the potential to improve health by finding people who are at risk for disease in the future or who are already sick but have not been diagnosed." End quote, paragraph 12. Slide 16. Another role of genomics in consumer health informatics is the connection to personalized medicine. This image of a prescription form with the DNA double helix illustrates how having genomic information connected to patient data enables clinicians to find the information they need to better diagnose and treat people. Physicians have the ability to personalize medical care by identifying the predisposition of a person to have a disease and developing therapies adapted to genetic features of patients. Genomics was seen as an important issue by HHS. Launched in December 2010, 
Healthy People 2020 names genomics as one of the new topic areas. According to HHS 2012, quote, the new genomics topic area and objectives for 2020 reflect the increasing scientific evidence supporting the health benefits of using genetic tests and family health history to guide clinical and public health interventions, end quote, paragraph two. With the development and use of genetic tests, healthcare providers are using the information about each person's DNA to personalize medical care. Protection of this DNA information is needed, or there is the possibility it could be used to discriminate against people. In order to protect people from discrimination by health insurers and employers on the basis of DNA information, the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act of 2008, GINA, became federal law in 2008. According to the National Human Genome Research Institute, NHGRI 2010, quote, genetic discrimination occurs if people are treated unfairly because of differences in their DNA that increase their chances of getting a certain disease, end quote. Paragraph 1. Slide 17. This concludes Lecture A of Consumer Health Informatics. Lecture A provided definitions of health communication, e-health, consumer health informatics, and interactive health communication, provided a definition of consumer health informatics, identified how the Internet has impacted consumer health informatics, explained how current and emerging technologies may affect consumer health informatics, and introduced the role of genomics in consumer health informatics. Some challenges of the Internet and its derived technologies on consumer health informatics were also presented. These included concerns with privacy and security, risk of liability, lack of law or legislation governing the boundaries, lack of payment for engagement, and resistance by healthcare providers.